Hi everyone, it's Anne Crafty Kimchi. Welcome back to my channel. I am back with a embellishment share. I've been so inspired by this new garden party collection and I've been working like a little busy bee. Um, but I'm finally back to show you a bunch of embellishments that I did put together. I was so inspired and honestly, ugh, this, this collection has me. So... I wanted to just show you some of the embellishments that I've created. Um, I wanted to uh, make... Sometimes I just like to do easy embellishments. I often get a little bit kind of like, oh, I have to make everything super layered and chunky. But I wanted to just make a bunch of fun butterflies. And I cut this out of vellum and I made all of the bodies gold. I just thought it just made it stick out. And once I've glued everything, I basically went and took my Nouveau gold spray and I just took it to a box. And I love that texture and color and I kind of think it gives it a little bit of that pizzazz. And I'm I, contemplating putting jemmies into all their bodies, but I opted to keep it simple. And with this collection, I think the butterflies are just a perfect fit. And I'm just trying to build my stash. So those are that embellishments. And then I put, picked out an oldie but goodie. And this is the Tim Holtz Tea Time, tea time Bigs Die. And I've used this in the past, but I thought this collection kind of made it perfect to bust this oldie out again so i have a bunch of maggie holmes floral ephemera that i never use and i wish this collection also came out within a floral ephemera but it didn't so i thought i would take out some of my oldies and make an embellishment with this so i kept it fairly simple um the die does come with a slit so all i did was insert the floral ephemera and then I went you know I've been obsessed with diamond dots kind of went and decorated the inside of the flowers I did a little stickling because Tony reminded me that I needed to use it more often and a uh, little sentiment I added a little um, bow charm on the end and yeah I love how these came out this one is a beautiful acetate that I never know how to use but I kind of love it when you put in the background I think it's gorgeous and um, you can kind of see the cup in the background. Very simple banner. I stickled the heck out of this butterfly. And I added a little flower on the side. And again, the little bow dangle. This is another one here. Again, butterfly. I think the, the formula for this whole set is like butterflies, flowers. I mean, it's just such a beautiful collection. So you can never go wrong with a little decorating and keeping it fairly simple. I added a tea bag on this one um, and then a whole bunch of sickles and diamond dots. Again, I think it's, it's just a fun little embellishment. And then I wanted, I had this idea that I wanted to make a clipboard because I've been seeing them all over Instagram. Uh, and I was like, okay, I could totally do this, but I'm kind of all about the hack, you guys. I rather um, tell my uh, Cricut <laughs> to do all the heavy lifting. So I went to Cricut Design Space Access, kind of where I go to when I want to find a cut file um, that I already have included in my membership. And um, I got to work and designed this piece. So this was my first one. And um, I just included this little ephemera piece. I added a little puffy sticker. And this is a faux clipboard, but I left it so you can kind of tuck in your ephemera pieces, which I love, and then just have this kind of sticking out. So it looks like a clipboard. I add a little uh, tassel and a, a dangle on the side. I did a little stitching on the ephemera piece and added a little puffy. And I love this ephemera piece in general, my happy place with the home. But I wanted to go smaller. Uh, I thought it was a little bit too big. So if you want to see for size comparisons, I sized it down. And this measures, let me see three oh three by four how funny is that so it's almost like a project life card um and i'll leave the image um of this specific cut file down below if you want to and you can just go and design it i think honestly it's a fun way to bust that electronic machine and get it to work um i did cut this kind of like notebook paper oops 
notebook paper and I did some stitching and then I took this ephemera piece. I love that little layered kind of layered look inside, right? And then I did add some puffy stickers. I stitched all of the clipboards, um, added a little bow puffy and then added this dangle with a little charm because I think it just finished the look. Um, each one is a little slightly different. This one, again, I just tucked in this little house ephemera Add a little puffy flower. This one has a little butterfly charm. Um, this one's another cute one. One of those little seed packet ephemera pieces. Again, a little puffy sticker. I'm just tucking that in right there. And um, some charms. Oh, come on, charm. We got a little bow charm right there. Super cute and again this is a faux clipboard you can see that in the back there is a little piece to kind of give it some dimension i did a score this part so it kind of looks like it's sticking out and you know um honestly i think this is a fun way to make a different embellishment you know and i designed it so it was super fun so here's that here's the last one and then I was super inspired by Brie, who's with Love Brie here on YouTube and on Instagram. And she is on the In Love Art design team and she has used this banner. I actually have the same banner in my stash and it is a layering scallop banner, which I love. And she had shown in her project share these embellishments and I knew I had to get to work because they were so cute and when Tony did a project I was like yes um, it was the fire that I needed so I just did a little layering um, I used a lot of the fun pieces this is some chenille yarn um, I used some sticks pops popsicle sticks and I used some straws it was a fun way to kind of incorporate some of the stuff that I forgot in my stash. I added some pom-poms on the end, some trims. Such a delicate but gorgeous layered piece. Again, we got some diamond dots. I got added some trim. You know, I think this is such a delicate and fun way to layer and just kind of add little accents here and there just have fun with it add a little stickles and that is it for my project share you guys I honestly cannot wait to come back and show you some of the projects I've been creating <gasps> but it's a secret I can't show you until it's finished and that is it for my video today I hope you found inspiration and I hope you love this collection as much as I do I'm in love um, thanks for watching and if you have any questions leave a comment down below if not I'll see you in the next video have a good one. Bye, everyone.